Okay, folks, just um, a really quick video on how you make DuPont connectors. Um, DuPont connectors are pretty much uh, these style of connectors, um, and they go inside um, these sort of blocks here. So eventually, this will make these connectors. Used pretty much in all Arduino and those type of electronics, so it's really useful to be able to, um, to make these cables up. So... What I've got here, I've just got some three wire servo cable. Um, we literally, first of all, just try and split the cable. So just to, uh, so I can work on the three ends. Um, so I'll just split that out like so. There we go. Then what you want to do is just strip the insulation off a little, um, which I tend to do with my nails, to be honest, because it's not particularly strong and I can, I can generally get now quite an even size just to show a little bit of cable so if we look at those now that's roughly kind of where you'd like it to do um then i literally just spin each of these just to um just, just to make sure there's no spare strands so I'll spin those around which kind of go a little bit like that um, right, the connectors we're going to use, there's two types uh, that you'll get in the pack. There's the male connector, which are these, obviously with the big pin sticking out. And then there's the female connectors, which are, I can get these in focus. Uh, well, you can kind of see, but then, which, uh, which are used for pins. We're making a connector for a small soundboard at the moment. So I'm going to use the female connectors. So the first thing I tend to do is just grab these magical little snippers um, and just cut these off that you need. So I'm just going to cut three off here. Um, hopefully you can see this. One, two, three. So once we've got the individuals, and these are really small, um, I would highly recommend the use of a headset, which is something like this, just so you can see the size of these kind of things. And the next stage we're going to use is the crimper. So the crimper comes with three different sizes on the one that I've got. I'm using the, the smallest one, which is this, this side here. If you look into the crimper, and I don't know if I can get it properly in focus, but you can see there's a thick side and a slightly narrower side. What the thick side I use for the cable end of the clamps. So again, these things are really tiny. Let's see if we can kind of point things out. So you've got a, two things that stick out on here, which hold the cable and two more narrow pins there that hold the wire. So the cable ones go to the thicker end of the clamp. So what I tend to do is put them into the clamp there. Um, I'm positioning them so if you look at these, ah, if you look at these from the side, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. So if you look at these from the side, I'm trying to get those two, that longer pin and that slightly narrow pin in the cramp. What I don't want to do is cramp anything past that second pin because that's actually part of what holds it into the black, um, the black plastic connectors. So, I'm going to grab this, I'm going to put this into here, like that, and then what I'm going to do is close the, te close the teeth just so it kind of grabs it and applies, it clicks, so it applies just the first bit of tension. So if you look at that now, what we've got here um, is we've got this stuck out, it's not going to cramp any of that bit there which holds the um, connector in the plastic connector block. Um, and we've got we've got both the cable and the metal, uh, the, the core crimper piece actually in there. So now what I'm gonna do is, I, all I do is I, I can't push it in to the point where the insulation is level with the outside. And then what I tend to do, just spin that around a little bit. What I tend to do then is just push it in a little bit further and then one crimp. And as you can see, you've now got 
the insulation um, crimped just in that bottom one and the wires crimped in the top one. It takes a little bit of practice, um, but when you once you get used to it, these literally just take seconds. Incredibly useful skill um, to be able to, to crimp these. Once you've crimped the cables, and I'm not going to push these in, but I'll show you what happens is on the on the side where you've got the detail here, um, that goes on the side of the, goes into the connector a bit like this. Let's see if we get some light shining on it so you can kind of see where. So it literally goes into that hole there. It pushes in and what it'll do is it'll click into place. So you feel it click into place and it'll sit about there inside. Um, and that's pretty much it. The only thing to watch out for these is, is I've noticed some, what tends to happen is when you crimp them, the crimper can sometimes squash this first bit here. Ah, bear in focus. Um, we can crimp this, squash this first bit here a little bit too flat. So getting, and I haven't got any pliers, but I'll just show you with the crimpers, getting a pair of pliers along the sides and just squashing it in a little bit makes it fit into the black connector a little bit easier. And that's it really folks. So all you need is um, a decent, I would recommend you getting a decent set of DuPont crimpers. Um, you typically get a box, normally a plastic box like this, full of connectors. They'll come with two reels of male and female and some servo wires. Once you've got that, then you can pretty much make custom cables to whatever length you want. You can buy a ribbon cable, a really useful skill to, um, uh, to do and extremely easy um, and certainly pretty essential if you're building any of the uh, BD1s, DOs, all the sort of even R2s, all the sort of robots, being able to make two lengths, two point connectors, fantastic. And of course then you've got a lot neater wiring diagram, wiring than having to solder them and that kind of thing. So hopefully that's useful, quick video. Um, I'll do a few more of these just so that we can, you know, basic skills and things like that. Um, check it out on the Facebook page, um, the Patreon page, Mr. Baddeley. Facebook page is Mr. Baddeley's Printed Droids. Um, and have fun, enjoy building, happy printing, and speak to you soon.